Hello, quick video on logarithms, what they are and how we use them. Well, we've done a lot of work in GCSE on powers, haven't we? So we're pretty comfortable that 2 to the power 3 is 8, or that 3 to the power 4 is 81. We also looked at fractional powers, so 16 to the power half, by the square root 16, is 4. And we've also looked at negative powers, so 2 to the power minus 1 gives us a reciprocal, so it's 1 over 2. What if we don't know what the power is? Look at this one here. 2 to the power x equals 16. Um, we'd want to find what x was. Or 4 to the power x is a sixteenth. We'd want to know what the power is, and we need a method of doing it. And this is called logarithms. It's like an inverse power function. And we can also use logarithms to do some calculations. So let's have a look at logarithms then. Start with our example again. 2 to the power 3 equals 8. What we have to introduce to you is a thing called a log function, a logarithm function, written as in shorthand as LOG here. And the best way to read this is um, using our example above is we see the word that symbol log there we read it as what power must we raise our, va our base number 2 to to get the value 8 the answer which is 3 yeah what power what power must we raise our value base 2 get value 8, the answer is 3. And if you think about it as an extension of that, we've actually got two connected relationships here, haven't we? 2 to the power 3 equals 8, and we wrote that, at, rewrote that as log to the base 2 of 8 is 3. You see we've just repositioned everything, but effectively we're saying the same thing. 2 to, 2 to the power 3 is 8, and then the power we must raise 2 to to get 8 is 3. And we can generalise that into this form here, general form. So if we've got our base number A and we've raised it to the power X and we get the, the number N, then we can reverse that and say... What power must we raise the number, uh, the base number n a to to get n? The answer is x. Having a look quickly at terminology, I think we'd be reasonably comfortable that this little number up here is the power. We call the number that's being powered up is the base. So the a here is going to be our base, and the resultant is going to be our number. And therefore, if we reposition those in the log the format function, we get our base is the little a there, our number is the n, and the x coming out of this calculation is the power. So let's have a look at a few examples. 10 to the 3, we know 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000, and therefore the log base 10 of 1,000 is going to be 3. So let's just restate that. The power that we must apply to the to 10 to get 1,000 is 3. Um, we know 5 to the power 2 is 25. So the log base 5 of 25 is going to be 2. Yeah. The power we must apply to 5 to get 25 is 2. And we can go through a very similar way here. 4 to the power of 5 is going to be 1,024. So the log base 4 of 1,024 is going to be 5. Yeah. What power must we apply to 4 to get 1,024? Answer 5. And 
4 to the power of half, well, we know that as a square root equivalent, isn't it? 4 to the power of half is 2. So, therefore, the log base 4 of 2 is a half. Yeah. What power must we apply to 4 to get 2? Answer, a half. And you can do the same thing here with 25 to the half is going to be 5. So, the log base 25 of 5 is a half. Yeah. What power must we apply to 25 to get 5? Answer a half. And we've looked at some more complicated examples um, in some of our previous videos of fraction, other fractional powers. And we proved that 16 to the 3 quarters was 8. So remember we did that by splitting the 3 quarters into 3 times a quarter. So 16 to the power quarter is 2, the fourth root. And then we cube it, because we've got our three left over, two to the power of three is eight. So there we are. So what do we get? Um, log 16, log base 16 of eight is three quarters, yeah? What power do I have to apply to 16 to get eight? Answer, three quarters. And if we have a look here at a negative power, we know three to the minus one gives us the reciprocal one third, yeah? Therefore, the log base 3 of 1 third is going to be minus 1. Yeah, what power do we have to apply to 3 to get a third? Minus 1. And finally, 25 to the minus a half is going to give us, we can split that up, can't we? Because that's 25, uh, the minus a half is is a half times minus one so 25 to the half we know is five and power minus five to the power minus one is the reciprocal which is one fifth yeah so log base 25 of one fifth is going to be minus a half so what power must we apply to 25 to get um, a fifth answer minus a half and basically, we can carry on in that sort of way throughout. We can also move on and start using this to look at decimal uh, powers, which we haven't done till, till now. Um, let's have a look at this ex back to our example. 2 to the power of 3 equals 8. Yeah, we know that, don't we? And therefore, rewriting that in the log form, log 2 base 2 of 8 is going to be 3. Um, let's have a look. We want to find the value here of 2 to the x equals 10. So we know 2 to the 3 is 8. And we could quickly work out 2 to the 4 is going to be 16. So we know x isn't an integer. Um, and what we can do is using our log relationship here to reverse that and say... If we want to find what x is, well, x is going to be the log base 2 of 10. Yeah. What power do we have to apply to 2 to get 10? And we can get that out of our calculator. So here's our calculator, and we have an interesting button here. Can you see it? It's got a log, it's got a little dot and a big dot. And we're going to put our values in of the, in the a in the little dot and n in the big square and our calculator would give us the answer and if you do that in your calculator sorry i don't have an emulator that works for that calculator log base 2 of 10 is going to be 3.3219 so we've got a fraction it actually goes on longer than that i've just rounded it um, to four decimal places and we can convince ourselves that's correct because we can put into our calculator 2 to the power 3.3219 and we would get 9.9998 out of the calculator so as you can see all we're doing here is um, we can use it to find decimals or powers and we can check it all up and use our calculator to do it and given the uh, law of powers which we know from the past isn't it that if we've got something in, in this example 10 to the power x times 10 to the power y then we know that the result is x plus y don't we so we can just add the so we can just add the um, powers yeah the indices together 
So we can use that um, to do calculations. So here we have, if we wanted to know 3.45 times 4.27, we could just add their logs together and use that as a power of 10. So if we wanted to find the log base 10 of 3.45, we could look in some, uh, we could either find it on our calculator and we get this value here out, um, or we could look it up in some log tables. Here we go, these are the things we had before um, we had calculators. So if we were interested in the log value of 3.45, we could just go in this table here and the fourth column's got the 3.4 values in, and there's 3.45, there it is, 0 0.5378 and some 191. And we could also look up our 4.27. We're going to need that in a minute. There it is there. 6.304. And we could just add those numbers together. That would be useful. And then we could reverse the process. So if we add those two numbers together, the 5.378 and the 6.304, we get the sum, which would be our new power of 10 as one point. 1682 and all we have to do is to get 10 and power it up to 1.1682 and we get an answer which is 14.7299 which is awfully close to the exact answer if we put in our calculator 14.73 and we could extend we can do exactly the same thing for division if we had 4.27 and want to divide it by 3.47 then we know in our power relationships don't we that that would be um, 10 to the power x divided by 10 to the power y is going to be 10 to the x minus y isn't it so we just there's our x that's the log and that's the y there that's the log of the second of 3.45 so all we have to do is work out 6.304 take away 5.378 and we get 0 0.926 0 0.926 and then if we just power up 10 to the power 0 0.0926 we get 1.273 and some other stuff um, therefore we would got the same figure um, if we just done the calculate put it in our calculator so we can use logs um, and we're going to come on and do more rules of logs later on but we can use it to do addition and subtract uh, multiplication and division a um, couple of special cases for logs we've got to think about. Let's have, just have a think about powers of zero. So we know two to the power zero is one, don't we? And five to the power zero is also one. And of course, 327 to the power zero is one. Using our log format, we can, because any number to the, so just to be clear, any number to the power zero is going to be one, isn't it? Whatever the number is, it's the one. So writing it in our log format, um, 2 to the power 0 equals 1, rewriting that, we'd rewrite that as log base 2 of 1 equals 0. And the second one, 5 to the power 0 is 1, is we log base 5 of 1 is 0. And 327 to the 0 is what equals 1, therefore log to the base 327 is uh, of 1 is 0, yeah? Remember the way I'll just say that in the other way of saying it, which is what power do we have to raise 327 to to get the value 1? The answer is 0. Yeah. So this one, relationship is true generally, isn't it? A to the power 0 is 1, therefore log to the base A for any A of the, va of, of the number 1 is going to be 0. And secondly... Let's have a look at powers of 1. Well, of course, 2 to the power 1 is 2, and 5 to the power 1 is 5, and 327 to the power 1 is 327. So writing those in log form, so log to the base 2 of 2 equals 1, yeah? What power do we have to raise 2 to to get the, the number 2? Answer, power 1. Second one down, what um, log five, base five of five is one. What power do we have to raise five to to get the value five? Answer one. And finally, log 327, um, log base 327 of 327 is one. Yeah, what power do we have to raise 327 to to get 327? Answer one. So hence we can see this other general 
um, equation here, a to the power uh, 1 equals 1, and therefore log to the base a of a is 1. Okay, here's my little summary page. Um, here's our basic formula, and remember that effectively we're rewriting a to the power x equals n in log form, so log base a of n equals x. We can get from our calculator, we looked at earlier, um, we can get our log values. There's a log function, which is log base 10, or there's a generalized log function with these two squares, where we put our base value a in, and then we put our value n in. And of course, there are two basic logarithms that always work. So log to the base a of 1 is always 0, and log to the base a of a is always 1. I hope that's of use.